Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial. I'm kind of working in OBS and Audacity because I can't get OBS to record sounds, so the sound might be slightly off depending on how I manage to put it together later. So this is going to be a quick tutorial, well hopefully quick, about open tunes because there's a lot of people having trouble with this program and I thought I'd just try and see if I can explain it in a way that makes sense. So I'm just gonna open up the t open tunes. You can't see the opening because it's on my other monitor. So I've got it set to start up in browser and all that is is I left it in browser last time I closed the program. Browser's where you're gonna have all your files and so this actually is a point where it makes sense to start up. Just for the sake of argument, we're going to go ahead and make a new project file. So we're going to go to files and click new project. Here you've got your files. This is going to make file folders for using in the program. I'm going to name my project example. And each of these files has Open Tunes is going to save different things in them. For example, um, Drawings is where it's going to save your levels, and I'll get into levels probably in a different tutorial. Um, outputs is where it's you're going to save your renders, where your draw your finished animations and everything's going to go after you've rendered. Um, other things have other purposes that I haven't quite figured out yet. I've only been playing in this program a couple of days. But you gotta go ahead and give all these folders a name. And technically, you don't have to make these folders. Open Tunes will create them as you need them, but I find it works better if you just go ahead and create them all to begin with. You can name them whatever you want. I shorten everything because I like short names. So. There, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we're gonna press OK and now what, what you see is if we open up this is the project roots area I've got example my little example has a little red dot there that means that I'm currently working in that project if I wanted to switch to another project all I gotta do is click with a red circle keep in mind if you change something and you click the red circle without saving it will give you a dialog box or something that says uh, you haven't saved, do you really want to do this? For example, let me just go ahead and do something ridiculous here. And now I'm going to switch back to example. See, it's your scene has been modified and you haven't saved changes. So it's going to warn you of that so you don't have to worry about forgetting to save things. Um, so now I'm an example and we're going to go and just get started a little bit because being able to start is really nice. Right now, I have my ink and paint section set up so that I have my toolbar over here, I have my level strip editor, I have my level palette, I have my uh, X sheet over here. I like the X sheet because it's designed closer, actually exactly like traditional animation X sheets would be set up. So this is goes up and down. Just remember, one it go, going up and down is just the same as going left and right in a vertical plane. So as you go through, you've got these drawings and how they work. To get started, there are two options. You can either go ahead and just select your brush tool. Now, I've got this kind of working for me so that things tend to come up as rasters because I've got the default as raster layers added because I like working with just drawings, but you can set it up so that it will start with a um, vector line. We're going to start with a raster layer and I'm just going to go ahead and make a drawing. It is not liking... Okay, the smoothness is going to be a little weird because I've got both OBS and um, Audacity working right now. It isn't liking it and it's slowing down quite a bit. So right now it's it created a level over here if you see it created level A and I've got one drawing in there this is basically 
a level is basically a set of drawings and they shouldn't be confused with layers like you've got over here you've got your columns section and that's kind of good, like a layer a, a level is more like a set of drawings that it can refer back to when creating the layers. It, you can make as many drawings as you want in here. I'm going to go ahead and insert a new drawing. And I'm going to actually, something I've found is it, it always inserts above, so I tend to sometimes have to swap them because it decided to insert it before my other drawing. Um, ignore that that's just because I've got it set to automatically save things so now that we have a second drawing let's just draw something weird on here let's say let's draw a square because that requires less thinking on their part so circle and square now this is this is layer two this is, or this is drawing one and drawing two the reason that's important is because when you come over here to your X sheet, see this little one over here? That's telling me which drawing it's currently pulling. If I were to change that to A2, it changes to the other drawing. This is also true when you just want to go ahead and drop a drawing in here for no reason. Let's say A1 wants to be right here. So it goes there. If you were to insert one, now here's the th the funny bit. This is now A2. So when you come over here, you still got your circle, but when you come over here, it's blank. In order to fix that, if you're having trouble with that, just make sure you go you select those and click reverse, and that's going to swap the two. If you're like me and you do some weird things sometimes, I like to select all my frames and renumber them because I can start at 1 and I can step by 2. And that's going to do 1, 3, 5, like it would, you would use in animation, in traditional animation. But what's the thing here? We no longer have a 2. And if you look over here, your X sheet's going to have the thing highlighted in red. Because it can't find that number, it doesn't exist anymore. If you accidentally do that, or if your inserting happens weirdly, you can go ahead and go to here and click renumber and just renumber it in step by ones, or you can go ahead and just change this one to three. Uh, you have to press enter or else it won't solidify. We're going to go ahead and Pull this down and delete these. Bring this up. There's a little bit of finagling sometimes with layers. You just gotta kinda get used to it. And now you'll see we have our square again. Another thing that happens if you do that when you insert, your insert is now three again. So an easy way to fix that is to remember click two step by one probably. And now your square is three, is four for some, oh, sorry about that. You have to select the ones that you want to renumber. And now your square is three again. So that's just a basic rundown of how to get started, how to work with levels. Now here's something very important. Do not forget this. There is no save all button. This is actually something that's frustrating a lot of people right now. There isn't a save all button. You have to save things separately. You have your color palettes, your levels, and your project, your scenes. See, your X sheet is kind of a scene. It's saved as a scene. So if you go over here, you can go to save scene. In scenes, because we haven't saved the scene yet, we're going to say save just because I need to save it and title it. Now our scenes saved that means that this X sheet information A3 and A1 will be remembered but if I were to close the program now I would not have saved these drawings and when it opens again it would create a new level for A3 for A and all my drawings will be gone so everything will be blank. So what you want to do is you want to come over here 
and go up here to files you want to save level now all these drawings are saved and it will be able to go back to it and fetch the proper drawings for our thing but let's say something let's say I changed hold on let's say I just for the fun of it decided I wanted all these colors they call color styles in this one so I wanted all these colors to be red so now my square my circle and things are red and first the, it's done something weird it does this on occasion there are some bugs still working out right now my circle for some reason is in three and my square is in two which changes things I'm gonna go sometimes you can fix it by just saying revert to last version saved now that proves that proves one thing that your last version saved is correct go ahead and don't worry about saving this one again unless you make more edits what I tend to do when that happens is no matter what I do when I save it it's not gonna save right so I close the program I save everything that can be saved revert to last save, set, save for the levels and close the program and restart it because that just means something got screwed up that I haven't been able to figure out how to fix yet so up here what we want to do now is because we've changed something this red is not going to show up if we don't save it so you go to files save palette it's gonna ask if you want to overwrite it because you have an a dot tpl which tpl I'm assuming stands for tunes palette but you already have a palette there and it's asking do you want to overwrite it you overwrite it and that means now this palette is what the level is going to for the colors of its objects. So now that I've saved my palette, I've saved my levels, and I've saved, well, because if I, if I go here and I save again, it's actually, nope, see, it's, it's messed up again. See, see over here well, how you click on it and it's got a square, even though over here it looks like it's fine? Just go ahead and select all, revert to last save, all good and fixed. We're not going to save that. Got it all good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close the program. Um, current scene has been modified. Let's go back here. It says I've, my scene's been modified. So we're just going to save it just in case. We're going to just press OK. Now, la -da -da, I'm going to open Tunes back up. Open Tunes. I'm going to open Open Tunes back up. Let's go to browser. Now we're going to want to load our draw our scene. It's going to be in scenes here. See this? This is our scene. I'm going to go ahead and load it. And you see down here A4. That's the that is the level I have, and that's the amount of frames in the level. I want to go back to Ink and Paint. All our information is here. Your red circle your square and everything saved correctly so that's just a rundown on how to get started I will probably do my next tutorial on onion skinning because I have found some neat things to do with that that work in other programs a little differently so I'll see if I can try and explain that in a way that makes sense I hope this was helpful if you have any questions ask in the comments below thanks and goodbye